I mean, it's starting to get very nightmarish in this. That was one of our sponsors. Oh, okay. <laughs> in that case. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. that, that music video is amazing. Well, thank you very much, Jess. That was filmed in uh, in New Jersey. Sherry was in it. Uh, you see me for one second. You are definitely there. Uh, a lot of fun folks came out to make it possible. Some folks that actually might be here with us on our, our webcam broadcast tonight. I'm also seeing... Uh, uh, on the timeline here, a lot of friends and partiers that come to my weekly stick ham. I want to say Woo! I've been, yeah, partying. It's true. Two year anniversary as yeah. well. So, so yeah. that, makes, awesome. that makes this kind of a crossover show. We're, we're like living a comic book crossover. We are, we are crossing over and we are in Meltdown Comics and it's all tying together in a very synchronous way. It's becoming incestuous. In a good way, yes. There's so much that it gets Oh my goodness! <laughs> Where have you been this whole time? What up, man? I like your hair. Okay. I did it, baby. <laughs> Get out of here. Wow! Oh. I'm so tired of you. Your, uh, your teeth seem quite stained yellow, and I was wondering what that was caused by. Drugs. Okay. Rats. Makes sense. Cigarettes. Okay, and uh, sour milk. Liquid plumber. Okay, that could take the enamel off, I would imagine. Yeah. And do you uh, sleep on a bed or on a hillside or on a concrete block or what? I sleep on a pile of like um dirty needles and um old diapers and small dead babies. Okay. So it's a variety of things, sharp things, soft things, extremely soft things. Sounds cozy. Yeah, I guess you could. <laughs> Sounds like my bed. Sounds delicious, though. I wouldn't lean a pillow, a needle for a pillow yeah. would be quite sharp. But you could, I could, I always had fever dreams, uh, delirious fever dreams of uh, trying to balance impossibly large objects on the point of a, a needle. That's what that reminded me of. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us anything. Write them in. Bring yeah, them on. Yeah, that's the beauty of this time ask, um, ask, You can ask the demon. Oh, where the fuck is the demon? There he is. Yeah, there he is. Are, are, are you bragging? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this guy. You know, oh, he's doing oh, that. He's, he's doing that. That's how you spoke back. <laughs> it seems so easy. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that is a. I've never smelled a smell quite like that before. It's a burnt felt. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. here's a question from Katie. Katie Bechtel. Yeah, when are you going to tour again? Oh, thank you for asking, and, and good to see you here, Katie. Uh, Hi, Katie. Very frequent friend of ours. I believe based in the Minneapolis St. Paul. Iowa. Oh, really? Iowa. Oh, she says hello, by the way. Is, uh, okay, well, somewhere in the, uh, on Earth, I, I believe. And uh, we will be touring again. We did, of course, our 10 year anniversary for the existence of Vader WK uh, this last year. And uh, now we'll be recording a new album. In fact, this week, once I return to New York City, that begins the full-on new album recording. Oh. Yeah, uh, so hopefully uh, early next year, uh, get it out, and then tour <laughs> the rest of the time. We're only building it up, so uh, keep your eyes posted. She wants to play, she wants you to play Iowa. It is Iowa. I told you. <laughs> well, that's near enough to Minnesota, isn't it? She came it's to like Minnesota. an hour away. So. Okay. What's in Iowa? Iowa is uh, when you open your eye quite wide and then go, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Okay, goodness gracious. Uh, next Excellent. one, 
Next question. How was the Taco Bell burrito you made today? You know, uh, I, drinking this wonderful beer, I have um, had a, a small amount of gas and have been uh, burping a bit, and uh, it was bringing back great memories because I got to go earlier today. This was a lifelong dream. Well, Wait, not, you went to the Taco Bell factory? I went to the headquarters. This was another question. How was the Taco Bell factory? Was it like going <laughs> to the Willy Wonka factory? You know, exactly. That's Willy what he said when he came home. Actually, uh, people had compared it to Willy Wonka. To me, it was like going to uh, the North Pole, to Santa's workshop, because uh, to me, Taco Bell, is uh, the, uh, the level of excitement, it's more like Walt Disney. I mean, I was starstruck by seeing the giant Taco Bell logo on the building. But, but isn't it just like burger, 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 cheese, 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 cheese lettuce, lettuce, <laughs> lettuce, 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 Really nice corn uh, chips and uh, corn tortillas that are folded, and they uh, have entire kitchens and test kitchens. I met the man who invented the uh, Doritos Locos Taco Shell. Whoa! Oh, really? Yeah, it took six months to perfect Wait, it. A what show? Uh, shell, shell, the Doritos taco shell. Sorry, it's a shell for your mouth. You mean the shell? <laughs> the shell. The shell is made out of a the shell Dorito. that you eat. Of just the normal hard taco. The hard shell taco, but it's, it's out of uh, made out of nacho cheese oh, flavored Doritos. Yes, and this is their Those biggest, the biggest <laughs> seller. I have been such a massive fan of, of Taco Bell for so long that I was, to be honest, a bit overwhelmed. I keep feeling like I'm gonna wake up the next day and realize it was all uh, just a wonderful dream, but a dream that I retained and did eat food uh, during. I was nourished. It was the most Taco Bell I'd ever eaten in my life. Actually, <laughs> it was all you could eat, and I, they gave me access to the kitchen to make whatever I wanted. You shook hands that's, with that's chefs, amazing. right? I met, yeah. The, True chefs. They uh, gave you cream filled donuts. Are, are, are the chefs in there with like beakers and stuff? Like yes, yes, yeah. They have all kinds of uh, well, I mean Weissenberg. beakers with lettuce and tomato, fresh beans, uh, seasoned uh, ground beef, uh, sliced steak, <laughs> signature side dishes, and hot sauces. Uh, I didn't see any beakers, but they did have a, a special kind of Mountain Dew. I got to taste the first ever Cool Ranch uh, Doritos Locos Taco. Fuck, I love Cool. That, that hasn't come out yet, so. That's I awesome. was taste testing stuff and uh, just, what? you know, just in love with uh, I've got a follow-up question. Okay. You know what? You know what? Uh, I'll just talk about Taco Bell. Yeah. Burritos and tacos and yeah. candy and Oompa Loompas and cream-filled things. Yeah, what? I just, I'm going to go home. I'm going to just cry myself to sleep while cutting myself and masturbating. So <laughs> it was really, really great to see you. Okay, yes. Yeah. Nice, yeah, nice to, to yeah. finally meet you. Yeah. Okay, ha, 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 have some fun. Bye. Great guy, all right. <laughs> nice folks. Okay, so what do you like better though? Pizza or tacos? You know, well, the, the, these, this these, is like yeah. a heavy question. Well, it's like, who do you like more, your mom or your dad? Now, for some folks, that would be quite, quite easy, I suppose. Uh, for me, it took both of them to make me, so I'm, 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 I'm thankful and equally respectful to both because uh, my dad tried to make me by himself for years. Um, <laughs> And then he realized it wasn't going anywhere, so he met my mom, and then, you know, it happened much more Someone here, naturally. Katie was like, obviously my mom. Really? So dad is like out of the question. Well, I, you know, I feel for anyone who, who has that feeling about either one of their parents or both their parents. Uh, fortunately, I, my parents, you know, did create me, and for that, I'm very glad. You know, so they've been pretty nice. And they like to party, so. Yeah. And they were the first to ever introduce me to pizza, the first one to ever take me to Taco Bell, so. If nothing else, I can thank them for that. I, I've got two more questions. Okay. Right. One is, when is the new album coming out? Mm. And is it going to be more like I Get Wet or more Close Calls with Big Lips? Okay, well, sure. Uh, thank you for asking. Uh, the, the album will come out as soon as it's finished. Uh, I tried to release it before it was done. That, that didn't actually turn out to be such a good idea. So um, this one, <laughs> I'm going to finish the album first, then release it. And uh, I Get Wet was the first album. Uh, Close Calls with Brick Walls was the third Andrew WK album, and uh, you know, every time we go into an album, it's how do we make the most exciting song we can? Then do it 10, 11, 12, 13 more times, and then release it. So that's how I take it, song by song. I'm just to try to make the most exciting uh, feeling that I can using uh, rock and roll songs. So thank you for asking and caring at all, and I will do my best to make uh, true party music for you. The follow-up question is, what are your thoughts about making a whole album with Shay? Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, that's 
more up to cool. Sherry. Record. I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sherry makes her own music, and I, I've done a remix for Sherry um, that you can actually uh, listen to on YouTube uh, for her song, Work, W-E-R-K. <coughs> and just so you know, Work, recently I played at Gay Pride Palm Springs, yeah. and there were signers on stage, and Work, oh, yeah. and sign Wait, language, hand signs. Work, like sign language. Work, 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 <laughs> which I love, work, so now you know. Work, uh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, I have an EP coming out on uh, January 29th yes. with a bunch of songs, and then Andy was working on one then, but maybe Wendy's having to do that for me then. Dripping wet. Well, um, Sherry sings on Close Calls at Brick Walls, too. I actually have a really awesome transition question. So this one was directed to you, Sherry, from Katie, and she's like, you want to go on a sport bike ride with her? Sometime? Sport bike? It'll be... <laughs> it would be party hard. What is a sport bike? Is that like I a, would love to. Let's do it. Is that a uh, motorcycle? Well, uh, it is. It's kind of like a, it's a, like a, like a little motorcycle. Like, like, like a ninja? Yeah. Crotch rocket? How do you feel about that answer? Well, I, yeah, that made me a little bit nervous. Crotch rocket. She, she quoted that as well. So As long as you wear a helmet. helmet. The idea of you guys doing a record to you together again? Party hard. Party hard. Okay, that's encouraging. Um, Don't be... My shirt's so well, party that it's like changing colors. <laughs> it's all <laughs> lined out now. Party on screen. Look, your, your leg side got. Oh, never mind. So, um, speaking of, of activities, you're going to give us an exercise lesson. Yeah. Oh, so that's coming up. Cherry's going to give us a live exercise lesson. But before that, 